Greetings, everyone. Eric the Car Guy back again with Wyatt Swain, also known as Mr. Tig from Weld.com. And good to have you back. Thanks, Eric. Let's just start with that. Good to be now, here. Now, you've got a bunch of fun-looking toys here on the, on the bench that, uh, well, what do they do? Eric, I want to show you some features in uh, TIG torches that will actually enhance your welding machine. And these things are designed for just about every machine out there. Just so you know, when you buy a machine, typically you get the standard products. When I say standard, the TIG torch that comes with the machine mm -hmm. is usually for all industries. Mm -hmm. Well, I like to deal in the car industry and racing industry and aerospace industry, so I like... A specialized, customized special equipment. Oh yes, I like this. This torch Don't here. Know. This torch here is small in size, easy to use, easy to manipulate around. And you know what, if you're underneath the car and you're trying to reach up there and weld something, you can make the torch oh, that's cool. go any direction you want it to go. That's very neat. So this can be adapted to any machine. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, ways of adapting. Can I play with it? Sure. Man, this thing is awesome. And I see you've got this nice little holder to put in here. And isn't that magnetic also? It is. Yeah, it works great. So I can... You put it on your the work... The metal plate in my head? Well, that'll work too, yes. Awesome. Yeah. So I can either have it hanging like this or like this, like you had it on the table. Yeah. Yeah, and cool. most, most machines, you can actually throw on the side of the machine. That's not going to hurt the machine at all or anything? No, no, it'll, it'll keep the torch right there, and then uh, uh, so it doesn't fall down and break the uh, ceramic. Yeah, you don't want to do that. That seems like it would get expensive if you started breaking things. It does, after a while. This, this particular cable is a super flex cable, mm -hmm. and it comes with this end. It's just a standard end, so you have to add this feature. So you got to find out what machine you have and this will actually plug in here. We'll show you how to plug it in in just a few minutes, but this thing comes apart and this tightens in there just uh, with a uh, light wrench. Uh, and then it just uh, plugs into your machine. So in other words, to use this on my machine, I need a new one of these in order to, to be able to hook it up. You do. You do. Absolutely. And, and that's this, got the gas hookup here? It, it has a gas hookup. It's already got the special fitting on it. So it just plugs in this plugs into your machine. It's a DENS 25 connection, okay. and away you go. So I just swap this out with my old setup, and it, away and I go. Now I've got something. But I noticed there isn't a button on this one. No, no. Actually, what I'm recommending, and I recommended this probably 95% of the time, if, if, if you have a button on your torch, that's really a specialty application. Uh, most of the time, you're going to want finite control of your machine, mm -hmm. and that's where a foot control comes in. Awesome. Okay, so the neat thing about it is this is down on the floor and you're pressing just like a gas pedal on a car. So this will vary the amp output of the torch? That's exactly what it does. So instead of sitting there uh, like before where I just go and I set the amps on the machine and then I come over and push the button and I get X amount of amps, this gives like, it's like a potentiometer, just gives me it, it, an it is infinitely a, variable amount of amps. It, it, it is a potentiometer, part. that's exactly what it is. That's awesome. So uh, you can initiate the arc, and you can hear it, you can hear the arc initiation, then you can watch your puddle being very small, and you increase until you get to the puddle size that you like. So I would actually be welding differently using a setup like this than I did initially in oh, the other you, video. You would, yes, and it, it would be a lot easier for you. Oh, I'm game to try it out. I think we talked briefly about these in another video that you had, sort of like your cheater lenses that it, it is. slip inside. <laughs> That, that so this is, is this is what makes you weld so good. It, it These is. are your eyes. If you These don't, are Mr. Tig's eyes. You don't have that. You're not going to take weld very well at all. <laughs> well, uh, for long periods of time, <laughs> staring at little tiny bright spots and yeah. falling along a piece of metal. It's fun though. I enjoy it. So, say with this flexible head, would I be able to use that for like when I'm underneath and I'm welding a piece of exhaust or something? I mean, kind of like this pipe right here that I just happen to have in my hand. So it would be much easier to go in there. Yeah, absolutely, and you well, can adjust it according to your needs. Now, I hold a torch like a pencil. Okay, I'll, but, be, I'll be the exhaust system. Okay, so I, I just kind of wrap around and I can tweak this torch head exactly the way that I want. And weld around, weld, 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 stop. And I can crawl around and readjust this any way I need to. Unlike the, the rigid setup that we had before. Yeah, the rigid setup makes it a little more difficult. Interesting. And we spoke a little bit about, in the other video, about welding different materials like aluminum. 
Yes. Is there any way where you could show me a little bit of how to weld aluminum in this video? Oh, absolutely. And uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll change this setup over. We'll hook it up to this machine. Mm -hmm. uh, this machine has AC on it, as we'd mentioned earlier. So we'll have it on AC. We'll probably run about 75 or 80 amps. Again, we're just plugged into household current right now. Nice. So we'll run some aluminum. Uh, the tungsten I have in here is still 1 16th tungsten, 2% thoriated tungsten. You probably notice the front half of this torch is a little different. Mm -hmm. Well, what I've got on here is what's called a gas lens. And you'll see that in a lot of my videos. But the screens that are in this gas lens give you better transfer of the gas. Of oh, the argon that's coming through? Yeah, so it gives Which is it, what helps keep your weld clean. Absolutely. So definitely watch his videos. He's got plenty of detailed information on this kind of stuff. Link in the description. So why don't we get all this stuff together, get it hooked up, and then try to weld on some aluminum. Okay, that sounds good. Let's do that. All right. That doesn't look too difficult to switch over. It doesn't. Uh just takes a couple of minutes in here. And what is, what is this referred to as? This is just an adapter. Uh, an adapter, and this, this particular adapter happens to be what's called a DENS 25, and that's the diameter of this right here. And you can look... millimeters? Yeah, it is. That's okay. exactly what it is. So you take a look at the, the whole size in your machine, and this thing will handle up to about 200 amps. So this being a 185 amp machine, you can see why they went a DENS 25. And, and how would I find, would I find that in the manual or something like that, what size it is? Or is it just a standard size that you, being a welding guru, know about? I, it's just a standard size that you would know about. It's hard, it's hard to find all the real fine details of TIG welding. That's what makes it so difficult. Okay. Okay, so all I do is I take the old torch off, and this is the old torch. Put this in. Quick disconnect for the gas, put our new quick disconnect in, and we're going to take off the, the button control that's built onto the torch, and we put in the foot control. So there's really no modification, this is just pretty much plug and play. Yeah. It is plug and play, all the way. And okay. You're and ready to go. We're ready to go. That's awesome. Let's weld some stuff. Okay. Now we're getting ready to weld aluminum, so uh, I'm going to put the machine on AC. I've got the high frequency set about mid-range. I'm running probably about 60 to 80 hertz. Make sure you put this switch on pedal instead of the console here or the panel. So I'm on AC, pedal, my balance, the cleaning that I get out of the uh, AC wave is just about a balanced wave. So I get 50% cleaning, 50% penetration. And let's see what kind of results it gives. Let's do it. I notice there's a different sound when you're welding with uh, AC. Yeah, there is. You know, alternating current just has that frequency sound, and I think that I'm probably set up on about, oh, somewhere between 60 and 80 hertz. And you can see uh, the cleaning action. Can, can you see the oxides being removed? Yes. And, uh, you know, aluminum actually does give you a very clean-looking weld. You do see it's a little bit larger in size than the stainless steel that you were welding earlier. And you can see I have to dab filler at the front of the puddle. Okay, I'm just going to uh, terminate my weld. And I'm using a foot control, so I'm backing off Real slow, real, real slow, and then I added a little extra filler right there at the end. Right. And that's just to keep it from cracking. 
but that's how you get started with aluminum. Now, make sure in aluminum you always add filler because it has a tendency to crack. Okay. It's just one of the few materials. So whenever you're welding with aluminum, you really need to make sure you got a filler rod? You do, and uh, this is 4043 filler. It's a very common filler, okay. so uh, if nothing else, use this, and uh, it'll stop the cracking. Wyatt, you do wonderful work, and all the things that you've shown me during this series of videos, I, you know, this information is invaluable. I can actually, I actually feel confident to go back with my welder and, and use it at least to some proficiency, or at least I'm ready to practice and try all of the new toys. You bet, you bet. But and, you know, next time I see you, uh, we'll we'll work on your adding the filler material. Ooh, that sounds like fun. That's uh, just an advanced technique. Yeah, he wouldn't let me touch the filler material this time. Yeah, we'll get there. He's the expert. I'm not there. I'm just a welding tadpole right now. Anyway, Wyatt, absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Right. Wyatt Swain from uh, Weld.com. If you have any questions about welding, then I'm honestly probably not going to be able to answer them, but this guy can, so there'll be a link in the description to that. I am Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and I close with, you want to say it? You can tell him to stay dirty. Go ahead. Stay dirty. See you next time. He let, he let me stay dirty. <laughs> he got the stay dirty. I might get yelled at for that. How come? How come? <laughs> You're, supposed You're supposed to say it. It's you. Whatever. Please. Please.